Hi. In this video, we're going to look at working with an alert view in a little bit more detail. In this example, we'll look at how to determine which button the user clicked and then have it do something based on the button that they selected. So to begin with, I'm going to create a new project and it's a single view application. And I'm just going to call it alert view. And I'm going to make sure automatic reference counting is checked and storyboards is unchecked and click next. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop so I'll be able to find it easy. And I'm going to get right into Interface Builder and set up my user interface. So I'm going to uh, pull on a button and a text label. And I'll line these up. I'm going to remove the text because what we'll do is uh, we're going to put the result of which button the user selected in this label. And I'll just put some text on the button that just says go alert. So that's going to be the limit of my user interface. Very simple. Next I'm going to set up my header file so that I have an outlet for my label and I'm going to connect my button to a method. And the method is going to pop up the alert and then handle the result of when the user taps on a certain button. So I'm going to switch into the assistant editor and I'm going to take off the utility panel to make that a little more screen friendly. Okay, so to create an outlet for the label, I'm just going to right click on the label and drag over. I'm going to make sure the connection type is outlet and I'm going to say this is going to be my result text. And then I want my button to do a method when it's tapped, so I'm going to right click and drag over and I'm going to make sure I change it from an outlet to an action and the name of the action or the method is I'm going to call this show alert and connect. So I have my header file set up finished with interface builder so I'm going to switch this over to the implementation file and I'm going to go out of the assistant editor again so we have more screen space on here to work with. Now you can see from here that we it automatically synthesized result text and it added the skeleton for our IB action show alert. And I'm just going to move that up to the top and again it's just for purposes of having it being a little more easily visible in the video. And since when the button is tapped I want it to show an alert view, I'm going to pop in the code for an alert. I have a separate video that went into more detail about creating an alert view, so I'm just going to put the code in here. Okay, so I've added the code in for the alert view and have it in there to also show it. So I'm just going to test this and we'll make sure that our alert works. So we have our alert window and in this case the only thing that we can do is tap OK and that will dismiss the alert view but it doesn't have any impact on our code, meaning um, if the user, the user doesn't have any other options other than to click OK, and we are not controlling anything else in the application based on this alert. So sometimes it's okay just to pop up a message to tell the user something, but you can also add other buttons on here to say, okay, there's, this is an alert, and you might wanna do one option versus another option. So that's what we're going to look at in this example. So we can see in here we have just the basic alert. We have delegate set to nil, which means we're not worried about handling anything that happens from when the user taps the OK button or any other button for that matter that won't do anything. But if we implement a delegate, we can actually access some other methods that we can implement in our application to do something when a button is tapped. So first of all, let's add some other buttons. Right now we have other button titles nil, so there aren't any other buttons. But we can add a list on here. Let's say, we'll just say button one and button two for lack of being any more creative. So now if I run this, you can see we have our buttons. So to test our buttons, tap button one 
it disappears. Button two dismisses the alert view and the OK button. So they all do the same thing. They're not wired up to do anything other than just dismiss the alert box when they're tapped. So next let's move into how to set it up so that when we tap button one, our text label will say that button one was tapped. Uh, same thing for button two and the same thing for the OK button. So we can start to control maybe something that happens based on which button is being selected. So back in our code, I'm going to go to the header file, so the view controller header file. Now in order for our application to be able to recognize which button is being tapped, we're going to implement what's called the alert view delegate protocol. So the alert view delegate is going to be responsible for handling when one of the buttons is tapped or recognizing that a button was tapped. In our application's main view controller, which is our viewcontroller.h file, I'm going to come in here and add the UI alert view delegate. And then back in the implementation file, in our alert view before, we said delegate was nil, meaning we weren't interested in handling anything with the button of responses. But now we do want to capture that information. So instead of nil, we're going to change this to self to say, okay, it's our delegate is in our file. Our delegate is the UI alert view delegate. Now by implementing this delegate, we can implement the alert view clicked button at index method. So we can go into the implementation file and implement this method, and that's going to recognize and do something based on which button was clicked. So we'll set up this method, it's a void method, and we'll start with alert view, and even as I start to type that in, you can see some options in here. And we want clicked button at index, meaning we'll be able to figure out if it was button zero or button one or button two that was tapped. So since we want to get the information from the button title that was tapped, let's put in a variable called an S string or a type of NS string and we're going to call it button title and we're going to say whatever whatever the alert view is the button title at index we're going to get the button index so for the index number of the button that was clicked right if it's the first button which would be button 0 right button 0 has a title and we're going to put that into a string called button title Next, let's take that and put that button title into our result text. So our label is result text. We're going to make that text value equal to the button title. So let me run this in the simulator. And when we tap a button, I'm going to say button 1. Our label says button 1. And button 2 and then OK. So in order to be able to get your alert buttons to do something other than just be dismissed, you need to include the delegate. And again, we do that in the header file, right? The UI alert view delegate. And that allows us to say that we are, we are the delegate. And by implementing that, it gives us some other methods. In particular, one of them is clicked button at index. So this is alert view clicked button at index, which will get the index number of the button that was clicked. Once we have that, we're able to access the title and we can do other things with it. You can even continue on in here and start to do an if else, you know, if the index number is zero, do this, or if the title of the button is equal to this text, do something else. So that's an overview of implementing a delegate on behalf of an alert view in order to be able to do something when these different buttons are tapped.